guys. Yes, I'm aware it's dark. Um, it's just after six o'clock. We are headed home from the kids' house, um, hanging out with them today and grandson. The girls and I, oops, sorry, hold on. Ugh, okay, the girls and I went thrifting and antiquing. I didn't buy much, I bought a couple things, but anyway. Um, oh, that's fun, truck blocking the entire road. Um, the boys did some electrical work at um, the house while we did. Is anybody in the truck? Basic, no, I don't think so. Basically stayed out of their way. Wi-Fi is connected. And um, just did some stuff, just us, just the girls. So anyway, uh, literally a truck blocking the roadway. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're um, headed home now. Um, We've been there all day and um, we're gonna go home and stuff. Relax, Relax yeah. Have some um, sweats, have some dinner. Yeah, I'm not super hungry. I'll probably just have bone broth, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go do that. And then tomorrow, first thing, I need to change some appointments so we can do mother in laws for memorial and um, I need to do some work creating social media posts that um need to be scheduled for the 1st of March and I'll probably go ahead and do April's too and all of that jazz. So tomorrow's gonna be kind of a busy day. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It's 10, 12 a.m. Monday, February something. I don't know, let's see, 26th. Um, I did all the non-fun stuff. Well, not all of it, most of it chores, dishes, laundry, cleaned and rearranged the kitchen counters. That's going to confuse Mr. Bob, but you know, needed to be done. <sighs> Updated the family calendar, rearranged some appointments. Um, Mr. Bob's got to make some phone calls today. Yeah, so I need to edit the vlog still. I need to work on the March, April daily drawing sketchbook and the March and maybe April social media posts and Patreon posts um, and posts in Artsy Trio, which I'm always forgetting till the last minute. And then I'm going to start taking some of my hexagons and seeing if I can lay out a pullover type sweater, maybe something with a little bit of a turtleneck, maybe. Um, otherwise I'm just going to start sewing it together and making a blanket. I don't know. But anyway, first I'm going to sit here and watch some YouTube and finish my coffee, which I still haven't done yet. All right, let's get that done. I'll be back. Okay, you guys. So my iPhone, which I film on most of the time is no longer syncing to my desktop iMac via Bluetooth. So I have to plug it in, which we are right now, and try to get the video footage from here to there, which plugged in over a cord takes five times longer than over Bluetooth. Why, I don't know, the iCloud, like the two aren't syncing at all. iCloud's not working like, or I shouldn't say that, it is working, but it's super slow, probably because the desktop is really old, but that's a thing. So anyway, we will get that done at some point today, hopefully. Then I have to work on the word lists and posts, at least for March 1st. Ah. All right, I'll be back. Okay, guys, so it's after six. I keep doing this, but I don't have my Fitbit on today. Um, I just know it's after six. <laughs> Let's see, 6.35. And I just got two more crochet patterns written and they will be posted later on tonight, I think, to Patreon or sometime tomorrow. I have my hexes, half hexes and triangles safety pinned together to form a sweater, which I will be trying to start um, sewing together tonight. Um, all the little pieces are all safety pinned together. It's gonna be one of those projects with five million like ends to hide. What are you gonna do? 
Anyway, I'm gonna try to hide what I can as I'm sewing things together, which is, I think, a smart idea, but we'll see. And um, I've got this giant pile of stuff I've got to take downstairs that, all of this. Um, got my sketchbook for March ready, all the things. I made some copies out of a library book and my pile of <laughs> granny squares, hexagons and stuff is like, it's big. But anyway, <laughs> we're gonna go downstairs now. I think it's time, it's black outside. We had a couple bouts of sunshine and the rest of it was like hail, snow and pouring rain. Like just somebody dumping buckets on the house. It's the weirdest thing. Anyway, all right, I think that's it for the minute. Yeah, I can't think of anything else. And there's probably stuff downstairs that I haven't gotten done yet, but we'll go do it now. I'll be back. Hey guys, so it is Tuesday morning. Not babysitting today, babysitting tomorrow and Thursday. Um, I think it's just before, just before lunch, I think. Anyway, I spent last night and this morning crocheting my hexagons together along with a few of the half hexes and rectangles to create a sweater. Hold on. And it's looking pretty good. Yes, I have five million of these to tie off and weave in, which I'll be doing after lunch. I don't want to start on the bot. There'll be ribbing on the bottom, the neckline, and then I'm going to actually add a few rows, probably of granny stitch to the sleeves before I do a cuff. Um, even for me, they're a little bit short, so I'll probably do like three or four inches and then put a cuff. Um, I think that's the easiest way rather than doing some more jigsaw puzzling with the granny hexes to try to get it a better length uh, anyway. And I think for the neckline, I might do a turtleneck. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but yeah, it's looking pretty good. I am going to call it my chaos sweater. I do attach my um, uh, granny squares, hexagons, whatever, usually with single crochet through the back loop. And then you get this sort of look, which I really like. And I used one of, I was going to use a plain yarn. I decided we're already calling it the chaos sweater. So a little color doesn't make any difference. So I used one of the variegated ones. I had one that had this blues creams and grays in it. Um, and I used the leftover of the pink and, ooh, excuse me, pink and yellow one. Oh, shivers. Um, and I did that to sew things together. So it's looking pretty good, but now we've got to, I have to do something about all the loose ends before we do any ribbing or anything else. So, but first, lunch. I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so... I don't normally do this, but uh, I, I mean wearing turtlenecks, but I just finished, I have spent the afternoon crocheting. I mean, I should have been running errands and going, dropping off books at the library and stuff like that. But anyway, that's not what happened. <laughs> it took me like an hour and a half or two hours to weave in all the thread ends that I had to start with. Now I've got a few new ones, but anyway, I got that done. Then I started working on the collar first, sort of playing yarn chicken because I have, of the three colors of bloom I have, I have one color that I don't remember the name right now, but I'll put it right here, um, that's a little plainer than the others. I was going to use that for the cuffs and collar because since the sweater is so busy. I know I'm calling it my chaos sweater, but yeah. Um, so I spent the day doing the collar first because I know that was probably going to be the biggest piece of ribbing because I kind of wanted to do it as a turtleneck, even though I just said I don't really wear them that often. I might need to wish that it snows again. I'm not done yet. But how cute is that, you guys? I mean, I haven't shown the husband yet, but I like it. I don't even ski or anything because, oh, I'm not allowed to do dangerous things. I'm too clumsy. Yeah, it's on the I don't think so list. But I could see sitting out on the patio somewhere where it's snowy with a cup of hot chocolate wearing this. I mean, you know, super cute. 
Okay, now to finish it, we've got to do the sleeves. I added four rows to the bottom of everything that was going on on the sleeves, four rows of sort of a granny type stitch. I thought that was better than playing hexy puzzling. <laughs> Um, when you lay out a sweater like that, it, this, it's sort of like doing a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> you have to, first of all, you need to know your measurements and, or have a mannequin that's approximately your size, which I do. And I pin, started pinning the hexes uh, to the mannequin and then figured out I needed a few half hexes and triangles to make it work. Um, and I, I used the, you know, fancy like sewing clips initially and then I took it off of the, before I took it off of the mannequin I decided to switch to something much more affordable cheaper and something I have 20 tons of safety pins you guys can just use safety pins once you get it all um safety pinned together then you can pull it off your mannequin or pull it off the table and start turn it inside out and start sewing it together it's all, it's really that easy but how cute is that? I'm really enjoying making my own clothes. That's not bad, is it? Okay, I'll be back. Hey guys, it is Thursday, uh, I don't even know, the 29th? Yeah, the 29th. Um, it's about lunchtime. I don't think I filmed it all yesterday. Um, I was babysitting yesterday, as I am today, if you hear noises in the background, we're sitting here having lunch trying to eat our bananas. Um, there was just a lot going on yesterday with um, Bob's mom's passing and everything else. And there's, it's gonna be a hectic couple of weeks. I'm not sure how much of it I'm gonna get filmed and I don't know when the vlog's gonna come out. Um, I'm gonna respect privacy and not film too much. But uh, yeah, so just bear with me. Um, try to get something out on time but anyway I did spend last night working on the next cardigan sweater project part of which I'm going to film for YouTube and I've already written a pattern for patrons and supporters um so that's ready to be filmed I got done in advance what I wanted to so hopefully I can get that done before we leave for California Somebody needs to eat his bananas. <gasps> yes. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> um, that's all that's going on at the minute. Tomorrow is family dinner night. And then um, we have some errands to run. We've got to pick up a few things for California. We leave a week from today. So there's a, kind of a lot to do before we do that. So anyway. 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 <laughs> yeah so anyway i am going to enjoy the moments like this one while i can and i'll be back okay grandson has gone home and babysitting is over for the week they will be over of course for family dinner tomorrow but i won't be babysitting they're just over to have dinner anyway um so i am going to put the diaper changing station away and then start working on a new sweater project. So anyway, ugh. all right, that's it for the minute. Hey guys, I was just putting my crochet away for the evening. Um, Bob is off in his Masonic meeting and um, I'm doing a new pattern. It's called the boyfriend sweater or the boyfriend cardigan. I'll link the pattern down below. So far, so good, but I barely got started. Um, but I want to talk to you about is I had three of these Karen Blossom Cakes in my stash of stuff. And it's a cotton acrylic blend. And we know my love-hate relationship with the cotton. But this is a blend. 61% cotton, 39% acrylic. You guys, I love the way it feels. It's nice and stretchy, it's not too heavy, and the color, <gasps> the color of this one. I love the color. The color on this one is Radiant Rainbow. 
And so, yeah, so pretty. Anyway, I love the way it's turning out. I'm working on the back piece first. This one is not done in the round. It does have seams, but um, yeah, I like it so far. So far, so good. It does look like it's a blown in fiber into a, I don't know, will it show you the mesh tube? So I don't know if the tube is the cotton or the tube is the acrylic. I don't know, but I don't think I care. It's machine washable and dryable. Not that I'll put it in the dryer, but it's got a thumbs up for me. Is it thin enough to make a summer sweater out of? I don't know. I think good grandson scratched me today. Oh, that's great. Um, I don't know. But I do enjoy working with it, and it is a good sweater for wearables. So I, yeah, I'd love to get some more of it, but we'll see. All right, I've been checking online at some different places, and looks like nobody's got it in stock. So there's that. All right, I'll be back. Good morning, folks. It is 10, 18 a.m. Friday, March 1st. Um, I better check on my RC Trio post. It should have gone up a minute ago. Anyway, uh, obviously I'm in the car. It takes me a few minutes now to get started because I got to figure out the radio every time. But anyway, um, I woke up with a headache, well, neck ache this morning. Um, probably from babysitting yesterday. So for those that don't know, 30-ish, 31 almost years ago, um, I was in a head-on collision with a driver who ran a red light when I was pregnant with our daughter. And um, I still to this day have periodic problems with my neck. Today is one of those days. So I started off my day with just sitting and chilling with coffee, doing some stretches, and then taking a nice long hot shower and then before I left the house just now having a couple of apricot dried apricots and then some calcium and some Tylenol I don't take those like on it I have to at least have like a little snack or something in my stomach so anyway now we're gonna go out and run some errands grab some charcuterie pizza for tonight probably go thrifting because I've got time and all the things I'll be back when you have to go back and check your camera roll because you're not sure if you vlogged, that's probably not a great sign. But anyway, <laughs> good morning, everybody. It's Saturday morning. It is, I don't know what time it is. Let's see. 10.26 a.m. Um, I'm wearing my new sweater, as you can see. Love it. It's The high today is gonna be 40 degrees which might be a little warm for me to wear this sweater, but I'm gonna wear it anyway. Um, we're gonna go out thrifting this and antiquing this morning. We, they're having a charity book drive thing at my husband's Masonic Lodge uh, for kids books. Um, so we are gonna go out and look for some books. Um, we're gonna, we're choosing to thrift or antique them rather than buy them new, um, because that's what we do for lots of reasons. But um, um, we can also buy a few more books that way. So we're gonna go do that. And then he's got a key to lodge building. So we will leave the books at the lodge and put a note. Um, we posted mom's obituary to social media this morning and it's being printed in local newspapers in California tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's been a weird week. So in the next few weeks will be weird. So that's going to be a thing. Anyway, I'm going to probably end next week's vlog early, uh, probably on our drive down. I'm not going to film any of the other stuff because that's just too personal. I hope you guys all understand. Um, but I will try to film some creative content for the vlog or separate, I'm not sure, as time allows before we leave. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, loving wearing this. I have, and speaking of this, 
I have a bunch of mini skeins upstairs um, of different natural fiber contents. You know, whether I do it on the road trip to California or not, I am going, I pulled them all off uh, my storage today and I'm going to wind them into balls and I'm going to make hexagons with them and I'm gonna turn them into maybe a cardigan. I'm not sure yet, but I'm gonna, I'm really getting the impulse that I wanna do something like this with them. So I'm gonna do that. They're all different colors, some neutral colors, some wild colors. So yeah, I like that idea. So anyway, I'll take you with us this morning. We're gonna go back to um, the little schoolhouse antique mall place that I went to with the girls last weekend. There's a furniture place next door to it that I didn't go into, so we might go in there. We have this wall here in the family room with um, the TV on it. We kind of want to add, well, we, me, I kind of want to add bookshelves to the wall, turn it into a library wall with storage on the bottom and books on the top. Still have Thomas's things out here for right now, but yeah. So I don't know exactly how to accomplish that. But going into the furniture part of the antique mall might give me some ideas. So we'll see. I don't know. It's not why we're going out shopping today, but you know. All right. And all the extra packaging materials from the Etsy shop that I've saved, I guess they're going to come in handy because we're bringing them to California to pack up the things that are coming back up north to Oregon with us from mom's house. So this is a part of somebody passing, by the way, that I hate going through their things. I really detest it, but anyway. All right, that's it for the minute. Let's see what kind of fun stuff we can get up to before dealing with all that other stuff. All right, I'll be back. Okay, Bob's downstairs watching TV. And as you saw, I was winding up some mini skeins um, that I've been collecting, honestly, for a while. And they're all wool, wool blend yarns. Um, merino and, some are merino and silk and some are, I think, just wool. Hang on, I'll look. Okay, some are merino and silk and some are superwash wool and nylon they're thin yarns usually intended for socks of course this is me it's not what i'm going to do with them um i'm actually going to make some little oh let's be real probably hexagons i probably should do squares but uh, probably not going to anywhere i'm going to do them out of these fancy yarns i'm gonna um my goal is i think we're going to be doing a lot of traveling coming up um not just for the obvious um bob's mom's estate and stuff um and I, my goal is to collect like a mini skein if, from each place we go if possible and assemble them into some kind of a well sweater t-shirt cardigan something like that we'll see what happens with it but i i like the idea of having these little small balls of kind of unique yarns and making them into something um, a wearable. So I probably will do that. And um, it all fits in a little project bag, which I can bring with me on the road. That's going to be a good road trip um, project, uh, along with the cardigan I'm currently working on downstairs if I'm not done with that. So hold on, hold on. I know. All right. So that's all done. Um, got a late start today and... Um, there's, there's a lot to do, you guys. There's a lot to do. Meanwhile, my office, my table is kind of a mess. There's, yeah, I've got that. I'm going to get done what I can before we leave, but there's just no way I'm going to get it all done. So we'll see what happens. I am babysitting Tuesday and then the kids and us are all driving down and, uh, yeah, anyway, 
I wish I could say it's been a fun week. There's been fun moments. There's been joyful moments. There's been funny times when we remember things about mom. I called her mom. Um, that made us all laugh. Um, there's been shocking moments where we paid for the obituary and discovered how much it was. San Jose Mercury News, what are you doing? Oh, my God. So expensive. If you know, you know. Oh, my God. Um, but anyway, it's we're still standing. We're still strong. We're still together as a family. And I'm going to do what I can to support Bob um, in his time. And if you guys have any tips or tricks for me, let me know. Um, he's been this through this with me a few times. I've only done this with him once when his dad passed. And as I remember it, I didn't know what to do then. Things have not changed. <laughs> it's just not easy. No matter what, what way you, you wrap your mind around it. First, you have the loss of the person. And then you have all the estate and the paperwork and the legal stuff. And thankfully, his brother is like executor. So he's handling a lot of it. That doesn't mean Bob has nothing to do. So I'm just keeping busy and being supportive. I think that's all I can do. Anyway, give your loved ones a hug. Um, try to do something good for yourself because you do deserve it. And appreciate every moment. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Relevant links and ways to support the free content on my channel are down below in the video description, including my designs over at Art Foamies, my designs over at Rubber Moon Stamps, and my Patreon. I am going to be filming some of putting this sweater together for Patreon. We're going to do a few how-to things like how to make a red heart rectangle. Um, with the Red Heart All-in-One Granny Square yarn here for YouTube. Um, but if you want the pattern for the sweater and the video and a bunch of other stuff you guys don't see over here on this channel because they have their own private YouTube channel, let me know. And um, yeah, go subscribe to my Patreon. That reminds me, I think I have some people to update on that list. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. I'll be back. I won't be back. I'll be back next week. Anyway, go out and just enjoy life. Take a deep breath and, you know, life's too short just not to have fun. Today I wore my Granny Hexy Chaos sweater and I got lots of comments and questions about it. And I said, you know, when I turned 60, I just decided I'm going to wear what I want. And I don't care what anybody thinks. And there was a number of ladies my age and older that are like, good for you. I love your sweater. So anyway, <laughs> go out and have a good day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys.